Have you ever wondered if wormholes could be the key to time travel? This tantalizing question has been at the heart of countless science fiction narratives, from H.G. Wells' The Time Machine to modern cinematic marvels like Interstellar. Time travel, the idea of moving between different points in time, has always held a certain allure, sparking our collective imagination with visions of future utopias or glimpses into the past. But it's not just the realm of the creative mind. Time travel has also been a subject of serious scientific inquiry. And of course, it's one of the more controversial areas of study, to say the least. While some physicists staunchly argue that the laws of physics simply don't allow for such temporal jaunts, others aren't quite so sure. Einstein's theory of general relativity, for instance, doesn't expressly forbid time travel. And this has opened up a world of fascinating, albeit mind-bending, possibilities. Enter wormholes. These theoretical entities are often touted as the missing link in our understanding of time travel. In essence, wormholes are shortcuts through space-time, a cosmic bridge, if you will, connecting two distant points in the universe. Imagine folding a piece of paper in half and then punching a hole through it. That's a wormhole in a nutshell. But wormholes aren't just some whimsical idea dreamt up by imaginative physicists. They're a direct consequence of Einstein's field equations, a natural extension of his groundbreaking theory that has reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. So, if wormholes do exist, and if we could somehow harness their power, then perhaps, just perhaps, time travel might not be a mere flight of fancy. It might be a tangible, achievable reality. But before we get too carried away, let's take a step back. But what exactly are these cosmic shortcuts known as wormholes? That's what we'll delve into in the next segment. Brace yourselves, because things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. Wormholes, in essence, are bridges connecting two different points in space-time. Let's start with the theory of relativity masterfully crafted by Albert Einstein, which allows us to understand the very fabric of the universe. This theory introduced us to the concept of space-time, a four-dimensional structure where three dimensions are dedicated to space and the fourth to time. Imagine space-time as a sheet of rubber. When an object with mass is placed on this sheet, it creates a dent, bending the rubber around it. This is gravity. Now, if we place two such objects at different points on this sheet, they create two separate dents. A wormhole in this context is like a tunnel connecting these two dents, creating a shortcut through space-time. So how does a wormhole form? You may ask, well, our understanding is still evolving, but one theory suggests it's a consequence of quantum fluctuations in the early universe. In terms of structure, a wormhole has two mouths connected by a throat. The mouths are the entry and exit points in our space-time, while the throat is the tunnel through which one travels. Theoretically, moving through a wormhole could allow for faster-than-light travel or even time travel. However, it's not as simple as jumping into a wormhole and popping out the other side. The very nature of wormholes, according to our current understanding, is highly unstable. They are thought to collapse quickly under the influence of gravity, leaving no time for anything to pass through. This instability is a significant roadblock in our quest for harnessing wormholes for travel, but as they say, where there's a will, there's a way. Scientists are working tirelessly to better understand these cosmic shortcuts, hoping one day to turn the stuff of science fiction into reality. However, before we can hop into a wormhole, we need to understand their unstable nature. The problem with wormholes is that they are not exactly tourist-friendly. Now, don't get me wrong. The concept of wormholes is fascinating, and it's a dream come true for every science fiction enthusiast. But in reality, they come with a few, let's call them technical difficulties. Firstly, there's the issue of negative energy. In the realm of wormholes, negative energy is akin to a party pooper. Theoretically, wormholes could exist, but they would be extremely unstable due to the presence of this negative energy. This instability is like a ticking time bomb, as it could cause the wormhole to collapse at any moment. Consequently, before anything, let alone a time-traveling spaceship, could pass through, the wormhole would likely implode. Now, imagine for a moment that we've somehow managed to keep our wormhole stable. We've pacified the negative energy and we're ready to send our first daring astronaut through. But wait, there's another hitch. We've forgotten about the quantum effects. You see, at the quantum level, 
particles are constantly popping in and out of existence. This quantum foam, as it's sometimes called, creates a chaotic and fluctuating environment. This could potentially shred our astronaut and his spaceship into subatomic particles. Not the most desirable outcome, I assure you. So we're back to square one. We have a theoretical construct that could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe and time, but it's plagued by instability. Negative energy and quantum effects are formidable hurdles, and they make wormholes notoriously difficult to navigate. Despite these challenges, scientists and researchers are not ready to give up on wormholes just yet. They continue to explore and investigate, hoping to find ways to make wormholes more hospitable. The dream of time travel is still alive and kicking, and wormholes, despite their instability, remain at the heart of it. So are wormholes a dead end? For our time travel aspirations, well, the jury's still out on that one. But one thing's for sure, the road to time travel via wormholes is a bumpy one. Not necessarily, thanks to a theoretical substance known as exotic matter. This elusive matter, still very much in the realm of theory, could potentially be the key to stabilizing wormholes. If you're wondering what makes it so exotic, it's not its taste or appearance, but rather its unique properties, especially its negative mass. Let's take a moment to wrap our heads around this concept. In our everyday experience and in most of physics, mass is always positive. You pick up an apple, it has mass. You weigh yourself, you have mass. But exotic matter, it dances to a different tune. Its mass is negative. Now you might be asking, how can something have negative mass? It's a fair question. Theoretically, if exotic matter exists, it would disobey one of the most fundamental laws of physics, the law of inertia. Push an object with positive mass, it moves away from you, but push an object with negative mass and it would move towards you. This strange property could be just what we need to keep wormholes from collapsing. The negative gravitational pull of exotic matter could counteract the natural tendency of wormholes to close essentially keeping the cosmic door propped open. Imagine it as a sort of celestial scaffolding holding up the walls of the wormhole. However, there's a big if here. We've yet to discover or create exotic matter. It's still a theoretical concept, an idea we've dreamed up to solve the puzzle of wormholes and time travel. And even if we do find it, we would still need to figure out how to harness its properties safely and effectively. So while exotic matter offers a theoretical solution to the instability of wormholes, we're still a long way from using it to pop over for tea with the dinosaurs or catch a live Shakespeare play. But do wormholes really allow us to travel through time? Uh, in theory, wormholes could not only serve as shortcuts through space, but also through time. Now let's delve into this concept a bit more. We need to understand the concept of time dilation, a fundamental aspect of Einstein's theory of relativity. Imagine a spaceship traveling near the speed of light. According to relativity, time would pass slower for the occupants of this spaceship compared to the people who remained stationary. This is time dilation. Now, apply this concept to a wormhole. If one mouth of the wormhole is moving at near light speeds compared to the other, time would pass differently at each end. So, if you were to enter the stationary end of the wormhole, you might emerge from the other end, not just in a different location, but also at a different point in time. Perhaps you'd emerge in the future, or maybe even in the past. This is the basis for the idea of a wormhole time machine. However, creating such a time machine is not as simple as it sounds. It would require a specific arrangement, a wormhole wherein one mouth is moving at high speeds relative to the other. More importantly, it would require a method to keep the wormhole stable, which brings us back to the concept of exotic matter we discussed earlier. Theoretically, this matter could hold the wormhole open, but its existence remains unproven. Furthermore, even if we could create such a wormhole time machine, there are potential paradoxes to consider. For example, what would happen if you travelled back in time and altered an event that would prevent the creation of the wormhole in the first place? These are complex questions that scientists are still grappling with. Theoretical physics provides us with tantalising possibilities, but turning these theories into reality is another matter entirely. While we are far from making a time machine, the study of wormholes continues to unlock fascinating possibilities about the nature of our universe.